hello and in this video we're going to be looking at paint or well, particularly black paint and black 3.0 now this stuff is allegedly the blackest paint on the, the planet it's been described as like having a black hole for your eyeballs basically it does not or allegedly does not reflect 98 percent of light which uh, basically if you paint it onto a surface you, it doesn't reflect light it just looks like a hole so it's more of an absent of color than a paint and we're going to be comparing this up against uh, Reaper Miniatures paints. We're going to look at the HD paint, the high density uh, paint from Reaper, and also uh, the Master Series paint, pure black. And we're going to be sticking it on some figures, we're going to put it on a flat surface, just sort of comparing the black paints to each other and seeing how black this paint really is. Let's go. Right, I put the paint down onto uh, some paper now, onto a flat surface, just so you can get an idea of how it looks on a flat surface. Now here we are, as you can see, there's the three paints. Now I've not labelled them so you can sort of make your own mind up on which one you think is the blackest. But here in the centre, that's the 3.0. Now to the uh, to the left, you've got the uh, Master Series High Density Black Solid Paint. To the right, you've got the Master Series uh, Pure Black. And in the centre there, you've got the 3.0. Now it is black, it's very black. Uh, it's so black, in fact, it makes the others look almost grey in comparison. Um, let's have a look at it on a sort of a flat profile. Here we go. Let's move it around so it's f face on. It does look black. It doesn't look like a hole in the page. You know, you can see some light reflected off of it, but it is a good solid black. And I've put two coats down uh, of each of the paints, just so you can make sure you know you're getting a, a true lightness of the paint and you know the page isn't coming through but that's looking good right but where I think this is going to come into its own definitely is when you start putting it down onto a three-dimensional object like a, a mini because um, you know with the mini you can have a there's more shadow the lights coming in from different directions um, and you're going to get a better sort of understanding of how much light is actually reflected than, uh, than just on a plain flat piece of paper right so let's uh, let's get this put onto some minis the figures uh, that I'm going to use today are the skeleton archers or bone archers, the Reaper bones white material. Uh, the reason I've chosen these is, you know, I think they're going to. Um, there's lots of ribs, lots of fine detail uh, where you can get shadowing and uh, lots of different reflections on these. So it'll be interesting to see how they look completely painted black. Also on the uh, on the front profile, it'll be nice to see exactly if these. Uh, um, bows will, will completely disappear, or whether you, you'll still be able to pick them out from the uh, the actual body itself. There's lots of uh, there's lots of bits here, especially with the arrow case that kind of protrude from the body. It'll be interesting to see again on the back profile whether they'll just disappear or, or how they'll blend in, where the light will be reflecting off them, or if it'll be uh, reflecting off them at all. So uh, let's get these painted. You can go into a frenzy when you rage. If you do so, for the duration of your rage, you can make a single melee weapon attack as a bonus action on each of your turns after this one. Listen, man, this is an attack of opportunity. I'ma do what I do, and I'll do it beautifully. Yeah. I'll lead a mutiny musically. Cue a lyrical coup to free hey, put, uh, Two coats of each paint onto the minis, uh, onto the bone arches. Uh, and the results are, are, are nuts, but let's, um, before we look at the 3.0, let's look at the solid black. This is a HD range by Reaper. Now, as you can see, I'm about uh, six inches away from the camera here. You can still pick up all the detail. It's really good black, went on very well, good coverage, but you can still see everything. Let's let's get a little bit closer, give it a real close up. And there we go, you can still see the detail on the base, his joints, all the legs. Brilliant. Okay, let's put him back onto his colour. And let's go for the uh, pure black. Again, uh, as you can see, you can still see all the detail. You can still see the base. Let's try and get a better view of him. You can still mark out, you know, see his rib cage. You can still see the, the uh, quiver on his back. And that's that's again that's about three or four three inches away from the cameras close up let's put him down onto his color now but this this is absolutely crazy this is the black 3.0 okay all the detail has gone still there but all you can see is the shadow you can't pick out any of the detail at all 
looking in from the front from the front profile you'll be hard to work out here especially at the bottom where his bow finishes and his leg starts spinning him around to the back Look at that. I've lost I'm, I'm sitting right next to it and I can hardly see his, uh, the, his arrow quiver on his back I can't see any of the detail in his head I can't even see where his feet hit his base keep spinning him around uh, you can just about see the tops of the arrows there being picked out with the light but again it just disappears again it's just a silhouette absolutely crazy Look. let's uh, let's stick him onto his color just to show you here we go. Yeah. You can see from the two Reaper paints, you can still see a lot of the detail, you can still see the ribs, you can still see the eye sockets, but here with the, with the black 3.0, it's just a shadow. It's just a silhouette. You can, you can lose his feet on his collar. Look at this, look. But laying down, like, you'll probably be able to see, hardly be able to see him at all. Look at that. Gone. Absolutely crazy. Let's try him out again. There we are. Now, can has that got any? Has this sort of black paint got any practical use in painting minis? Uh, not when you paint it completely like this. You know, you, you can hardly see it. You can, it just looks like a shadow or hole in the back of this 3.0 bottle. Um, it could be good for like picking out that really those really dark crevices, maybe inside hoods. Um, some really dark shadowing could have some use as a wash. But just as, uh, for some fun, just for messing around with it, it's absolutely brilliant. And it really does, just the details there, I can, I can see it if I take a really close look at it, but from six inches away, he just disappears. And you can put him right next to his little mate here, stand up, and you can really see the difference. You know, the, the one on the left here, the, the black solid black is black but nothing compared to the 3.0, which totally just disappears. Totally disappears. Um, I did uh, stick some on a base, on a round base, just to see what it would look like stuck on a base. Now this base here, let's move these out of the way. This base here is painted in black 3.0. And as you can see, it just disappears. And now this base is a, just a regular base. And if you put that mini onto the base, it's gone again. Let's see if we can get a better light. Absolutely nuts. You can see some shadow just underneath the where he's not sitting flat on the base. That is absolutely crazy. Fantastic paint, very matte black. Could have some use in, you know, possibly picking up those really dark areas. But as a bit of fun and just to mess around with, that is absolutely crazy. Let's have a really close look. It won't focus on it, it just thinks it's black. Let's, okay, let's try and get my finger. There we go. You can't see the, the quiver on his back. You can't make out any of the detail at all. And you can hardly see where the, his legs start and the base finishes. I don't think you can actually. Let's have a look in from the front. Look at that. This looks like a, like a shadow. Again from the front, and this is as close as you can pretty much get to the camera. It's really hard to work out where his bow is and where his head starts. Cool. Right, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to probably mess around with this Black 3.0 a little bit more. See if we can um, actually use it on painting a model and see if it has any practical application. Maybe use it as a wash. Um, see how it goes. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, black 3.0. Brilliant paint, very black, and definitely blacker than anything uh, you can get from Vallejo, Reaper, or anybody else. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.